This match of affinity really makes me happy. A deck that I'm personally a fan of, we're playing against, and that's Turbo Fog. And Turbo Fog, that round one, it's tough. It's long. I get it. I probably should have conceded a lot earlier. But in game two and three, even with the misplayer two here, we really end up rounding it out. And I want to show you exactly how that works out. So I hope you enjoy the games. I hope you enjoy some of the cards and some of the play that we have against them. And it really goes to show that if you're out to the ground aggressive, that deck can really stumble against you. Enjoy. Winning the die roll with robots? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Not five land hands. Uh, this is better. Okay, uh, we'll keep this. Mm, I'm pretty sure the card I'm dropping here is Glenhawk. Pretty sure the card I'm dropping here is Glenhawk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because we can we can do some fun stuff. We can go uh, maybe Seat Springleaf. Seat kind of keeps it a little ambiguous. Like I don't know. They they could maybe think we're still Grixis, right? Seat kind of keeps it ambiguous. So we'll do that. Yeah, we'll go see. So they go island pass, eh? Might get spell pierced here. So we're going to go ancient den, ornithopter. Four artifacts. We can go thought cast here for free. We can go uh, ornithopter, glint hawk. Not ideal, but it's fine. Yes, I will return. I'll return the owner Thopter to my hand. I'll play that out again. Okay. <laughs> it's just, I don't even know why I needed to play it. Storm count. Um, yeah, let's not do that in later turns where decks could have weather the storm. Let's not do that. But regardless here, we didn't really draw into much with the thought cast. That's the troubling part. Popper affinity, like, okay, blue white is definitely gonna struggle. Grixis has a little bit more, right? Like you, you do have, the ability to draw some more cards. Okay, wait, Simic Growth Chamber makes me think this is Turbo Fog, and I might just get a taste of my own medicine. Galvanic Blast is gonna be huge here. If this is Turbo Fog, Blast is gonna be huge here. But let's see what happens. Ah, uh, I think this is, I think this is Turbo Fog. Bajuka Bog with those lands, I think we're up against Turbo Fog, which isn't great. They're gonna, they're gonna be able to blank a bunch of our attacks here, and we are not fast enough right now. We are definitely not fast enough right now. Yep. They're just going land go. They're fine to take some hits. And we are synthesizing. So we're gonna we're gonna go attack first. Right. Let's go attack first. Obviously we could synthesize her into like something insane. Um but I want to see if they wanted to, like, fog for some reason. I don't know why they would fog a two attack, but... Okay, and then we will... I want to do it right now. Mm. It's like a draw spell. If it's a land, then... Okay. I think the opportunity cost is small. We'll just use it up now. See, this is what I was afraid of. That it was going to be the two mana thing. I, I think I was going to say like most things. <sighs> I should have just waited. I was going to say most things I can cast. If it's literally that, I can't. So that's really unfortunate. That's fine. Goat Spiral. That's really unfortunate. That would have been an amazing draw. Uh, obviously, they would have started fogging us, but that would have been an amazing draw. That's fine. Pass that. Yeah, I can only activate that as a sorcery. They'll play that tapped. At least I have some more attackers, though. Okay, we're going to go to combat. Honestly, Galvanic Blast is just going to be our best card right now. I have to create some type of scenario with Galvanic Blast. Okay, they'll take the damage. We'll cast this. Play the Razor Tide Bridge and pass the turn. So Galvanic Blast kind of functionally has them at nine. They could weather the storm here. Okay, they're going to draw some cards. So I, tra I, I traditionally know how to work against this deck. I think that we... Hmm. We might... I, I, I appreciate the card draw. Um, I just don't know what they have in hand. That's the, that's the tough part. They could be strapped for things to cast. Um, we're going to start doing some damage to them. 
Okay, let's go in for an attack here. What's nice about at least having the Vigilance token is there is that one fog. Like, oh, there you go. I was just going to say Tangle. That doesn't tap us out uh, with that. So that's kind of nice there. Right. So at least the Samurai can still untap and attack. Play the Mur Enforcer. Play the Ancient Den and pass with a Galvanic Blast. There's still a 13. This is going to be a bit of a grind. Could be bad, could be worse. Let's see. We are definitely going against some of our tougher matchups here. Um, Sure. So negate's going to be big here. I'm just trying to think out of my sideboard, like what's going to be... What's going to be good here? And it's going to be a tough call because there are some turbo fog decks that are playing red for some board wipes. So I'm wondering if they have access to that, like how they're playing it. Are they going to go for like a big mill here? No. They, oh, okay. I like that. I like that. That means they're, that means they're kind of running out of options. There's so only two mana here. Could be a fog, which is completely fair. They have time. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think they understand that they're not taking lethal. So definitely play the Ginger Brute. Right? Go to combat. Attack. Right? Moments peace. That's fine. Yeah, I, I wish we had, like, the main board graveyard hate. That would be the way to kind of kind of take advantage of this. Yeah, it's going to be, this is definitely going to be the type of matchup that hard counters us, that hard counters us. But I think there's going to be openings for us. If we're able to, if we're able to find our other Galvanic Blasts, I mean, that's going to be a little tough if we start getting milled, right? So, yeah, we're just going to have to go to combat here. Right, attack all. Pass through. No, no point in playing the the Razor Tide Bridge, right? Like I am playing on my lands, but it's like it's almost like there's no point in showing them that we don't have anything. It's like just don't give them that information. Make them think, oh, they might have found a counter spell or a second Galvanic Blast. It's I, I have like perfect mana against this deck right now. I've like everything I need. I'm gonna cast another draw three. Okay, so I have three mana up. Yeah. Four mana up. I'm going to move to discard. Okay. And this is it. This is going to be that. This is going to be that gameplay. This is going to be that gameplay loop. They're going to mill themselves out at this point. They're going to mill themselves out. All right. Just a simple one mana fog. I This, this seems similar to decklist that I was seeing earlier. But again, it just may not be playing... Just may not be playing any number of uh it might only be playing two copies of said mill spells so let's see here this is almost this is almost like i almost should just conserve time and just pass right through but they're gonna be doing much more i'm happy i'm happy to play this game out because they they're the one that has to worry about clock really i just i just go in and keep doing the same thing yeah i don't i don't need to do anything I don't want to draw cards, just I, I have everything I need right here. Yep. Make them keep having it. That's all it is. Yep. Keep going to combat. And I believe these decks only play like two copies of the one cost fog. The fact that they keep drawing frantic inventories is crazy, though. I will say that they've drawn a ton of cards. They've, they've drawn a ton of cards here. OK, yeah, <laughs> even more cards. They are trying to find their their mill spell um, and they are trying to hit us kind of like for a big wombo right at the end. So let's see. Let's see what they do here. Yep. Removing arcane denial. Arcane denial is good. I see. I don't want to cast anything. So just go in, go in for the attack. I want to kind of get them to enable their own weather. The storm is here. I mean, I do have I am presenting 13 damage on board. Okay, three single. Okay. I guess that's what the metagame is right now. You need like one mana fogs. I guess so. Especially with the way red is oriented right now. I, I guess that's how it works. Growth spiral. No land to put into play. Come on now. What is going on? You got the Quandrix Campus too. Why not just tap out a scry? 
Guess they're worried about their clock. Because now they're now they're getting lower than us on clock. Let's see if we can't bring it back. I think post board we have some good options. I think post board we have some good options. It's unfortunate that we don't have like any way to like. Obviously, this isn't like a meta deck, right? So you don't have a way to just like sink mana into something and like deal damage to it. Okay, desert. That's gonna start being a problem. So I can't really play my ginger brute. I can't really attack with my ginger brute. So we're gonna attack with the other stuff. Yeah, I can't really attack with the ginger brute. So we're gonna just attack with the other stuff. Sure, moments peace it is. Yep. Play the frog might pass the turn. think about casting like thought cast next turn or something but it's on them it's on them to play the clock now okay five mana draw more cards yo they're going low they're going low right now but to be fair though their mill spell can just shuffle stuff back in so it is like oh the foretold card too that's gonna be a counter spell so that is going to be a counter spell Once they let, like, one attack through, that's when I can start thinking, like, okay. Drawing some spells. Drawing some spells. Yep. So they have the moments pieces in the yard. I don't I don't have many ways to answer that. That's my problem right now. Yep. See, not even, like, a Gal, a gal Blast is, like, lethal here. I'm just going to play these. Yep. Sure. Play this. Right. Using up my clock. Using up my clock. They can't weather the storm. So I'll play a Mer Enforcer. Play this out and pass. I would love to draw two cards. Yes, I'd love to draw two cards. Yes. Find me my Galvanic Blast. <laughs> so they're going to be able to fog me for like two turns. They're going to be able to like fog me for two turns. Desert is unfortunate. Yes, because now that shuts down my X2s from attacking. A second desert is unfortunate. Just the way the cookie crumbles, though. So I just got to keep attacking with my 4-4s four and just hope. At this point, it's just hoping. This is going to be a bit of a grind. This is going to be a bit of a grind. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right, opponent. You, you need to have the win, right? Like, you need to actually, like, legitimately find a win condition. And I'm wondering if they do, like, make a mistake or get desperate. Oh, that's the foretold card. It's not like a foretold counter or anything. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Scry 2 draw. Growth Spiral. Okay. No land to put into play. Maybe they did, and I'm just not paying attention. Okay. Weather the Storm for 50 billion. Okay. You know what? I'm playing the clock. Like, I'm playing it. I'm, I'm making I'm making them have it. I'm playing the clock. I'm making them have it. They, they do have to, like, cast an obscene amount of cards to, like, mill me out. So they have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Uh, 11, 13. They have 13 mana, so they can go 1, 4, 4. They can mill me for a fair amount. They can copy it like three times. They can mill me for a fair amount, actually. They can mill me for, for, for a really good amount here. Okay. That is crazy. That as a blocker is crazy. Okay. Um, just pass through, do nothing. Like, they're not attacking with that. Okay. Things happening at end step. Quandrix Campus cycling through. Cards being left around. They do have to find the win. And we're playing it. This is uh, this a legit strat. We're playing it. Go for it. 
opponent can time themselves out trying to beat me. You have to demonstrate your ability to win with your chess clock. Got another one? I swear this deck only plays like one. Oh no, they're going for like a big mill turn here, but they're going to leave three up. Yeah, they're going to leave like, well, you have to leave like four up. Yeah. You're going to leave enough to think once. I'm going to put them. What do you got? Yup. Replicating it twice. So they can mill me for 12 here. I mean, they will. Not can. They will. Yeah. There goes a Gal Blast, which is unfortunate. Maybe I just... You know what? Playing the clock is one thing, but... Wasting my, wasting my viewer's time is another. Red Elemental Blast coming out. All of this... Uh, all of that coming out. So in this case, yeah, this isn't going to be an aggro ornithopters out matchup. This is going to be play these, draw those cards, maybe drop like a ginger brute or two. Thraven might be too slow. Glinhawk might actually be too slow. Bring in the ginger brutes. Breath weapon not useful, but yeah, literally all of that. This is how we want to play it. I think we're better prepared. Red Elemental Blast is going to be is going to be good just just countering some key stuff um negate is going to be big too just for like forcing in a swing or two like galvanic blast is going to be the way we win this game okay yeah gal blast is the way we win this game uh this is fine this is fine so we're going to keep this we're going to go ginger brute and we're going to start swinging we're going to start swinging get in their face let's get let's get popping You're a 19 opponent. Let's go. Desert. Stop it. You're here. Not with, not with me. Not with me. I'll tell you that. Um, Actually, in this case. Let's go. Mm. No, we go all that glitters. Let's go all in. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go all that glitters. Let's go. Take five. So that's only three artifacts. I can't play the Frogmite. Take five. Let's go. Get aggressive. This is how we, this is how we win this game. Yeah, Lorien revealed. Tangled Islet. Uh, it's not a tapped. Yeah, it is a tap land. All right, great. Even better. Even better. Ooh, the seat and the Frogmite. You're taking some damage this turn. I'll tell you that. Yep. Attack. Eight damage. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. This is how you aggro out this matchup right now. Now they pretty much have to have Fog Fog every single turn. They have to have Fog Fog every single turn. Yep. Tangled Eyelid. Yeah, they, they pretty much have to pass for Fog every single turn here. We're going to redraw. Because we need some type of gas here. That's good. I'll take that. Uh, we're going to go to attacks. Yep. Combat, attack. Make them tap out of some stuff here. Yeah, you have to have something. Okay. Singular fog. It's got to be like runner runners too, right? So... We can go thought cast, play around the spell pierce if they have it. And they can spell pierce all that glitters. It's not gonna be about that. That wins me this game. Um so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play the Springleaf Drum. I don't think they'll counter this, and then I'll play Glenhawk. They got for blue and thing. Counter target creature spell? Oh, sure. All right. Bet. Bet. I'll draw some cards. More cards is going to be fantastic for me. This gives me access to red, which is huge. I would love to draw two cards. Yeah, they are so behind right now. Okay. Again, they have to have counter. They have to have fogs every single turn. And they're missing land drops here. 
They're missing land drops, which is huge for us. I shouldn't have played that, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Missing land drops. That's the name of the game right there. Love the moments piece. That'll come out next turn. The reason I was saying I shouldn't have played a uh, thing here was the experimental synthesizer could be big. So we're going to play the synthesizer first. Might as well do this while they can't like weather the storm us. That's unfortunate. Um, we're going to thought cast then. See if we can't find a creature. That's good. Frogmite will let us cast that. We definitely do want to cast that. Right. Okay, that's fine. We'll hit this then. Right, and then we'll just pass through. Gotta have options, right? We just wanna we just wanna draw, draw, draw right now. And that was just pumping out a bunch of spells. And and again, regardless of like how they do it, even weather the storm doesn't work here. That's essentially why I just wanted to go through it. All that glitters is really valuable because even a weather storm does not work here. So they have to have moments peace just off the top here. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to just like deal two damage. That's that's my big problem right now, but that's fine. Um, I might just leave these two back. I'll swing with both of those. Sure. So what this allows me to do is use like spring leaf trauma. Okay. Let's use this. Ooh, say less. Uh, definitely cast that. And then... Use that. Let's, I kind of don't want to use this now. I kind of just want to pick at them with that, but I could just force it right now. I might just force it. Yeah, I might just force it. Let's go. Just get it out of there right now. And then again, while they're tapped out, play that. And then we have access to Galblast. Just do it while they're tapped out again. Whether the storm is, could, could be a deciding factor here, but... Got off to a pretty aggressive start. So if we get tangled here. So the reason I'm only attacking with two, they managed to stop one. I can still gal blast them. Fog's fine. Sure. Oh, keep watch. Okay. All right. Only two cards, though. There you go. Only two cards. Three mana, draw two cards. Instant speed, divination, whatever. Uh, I should have just... <sighs> made a mistake there. I should have just synthesized, but... Should have synthesized. Now they're drawing lands. Now this is the point where, like, this deck really crumbles, but if we can draw a Gal Blast, that changes everything. If we honestly can draw a Gal Blast, that changes everything. Yep. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, huh? Three mana fog, moments piece. Okay. Why did they do that? They could have killed the. They could have killed my frog my But I guess maybe they have a counter spell or something. Okay, so now I will do some of this stuff. So let's do this. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Play the synthesizer. Okay. Arcane denial, which is which is great. It kind of it kind of serves the purpose already. Just kind of nice. So we'll play this out as well. And we'll pass the turn. I don't really care to cast this land. Honestly, I, I don't, don't really care. I can go away for all I care. Draw my two cards. 
Ooh, now we just have to get them into a tough spot. That's all this is about. Now we just have to get them into a tough spot. Now we just have to get them into a tough spot and I can Gal Blast. But I think they know that they can't just... You know. Uh, attack, attack. Because they, they have like double desert. Okay, now we just have to kind of figure out a way to like get them to tap out somehow. Okay, flashback the moments piece. Play the relic. See if they bite on the counter spell here. Exile a card. I'm be super greedy. Glenhawk. Yep. Glenhawk is going to bounce this. Play this. And then you're going to exile another card. You're just going to keep like you, you, all your cards are going to disappear. That, that's the goal here. And now if you tap out double gal blast wins this game. Oh, opponent, don't do it. Oh, no, no, no. That's not when you do this. That's not when you do this. That's not when you do this. Oh, baby. The gal blast. Let's go. That Come on. That's the aggression we need. That's the aggression we need. So now we're on the draw. I'm kind of thinking instead of three, instead of Glint Hawks, do we bring back in the Ornithopters? Because they're kind of faster. Glint Hawks like... Glint Hawks kind of like our worst card because we don't want to grind with them at all. Okay. I think this is fine. Dust to dust. Not the plan. Not the plan. Yo, 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 the same plan, the same plan, the same plan, let's go, the same plan, let's go, let's go, we're swinging in for five, let's go, unless they have the counter spell, please just play a tap land, please just play a tap land, do not counter this all that glitters, oh, they're, oh, they scared, oh, they scared, baby, oh, they scared, all right, uh, let's see if this resolves. That'd be... Oh, okay. They probably have a fog then. I was going to say, that doesn't resolve for free. They have a fog. Yeah, you don't take this damage. You're crazy. <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. You have a one mana fog. You have a one mana fog. No, they're taking the damage. All right, all right. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, six damage. Six damage. I'll take it for what it is. Okay, so we do everything kind of after the fact. So we go Silver Bluff Bridge. Less damage is fine. I, I kind of just don't want to add to a weather this. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I didn't attack. Okay, whatever. Uh, Let's go this. I'm actually dumb. Uh, They counter this. That's fine. Blue to... Draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunate. Okay. Okay. I missed the I missed an attack. I missed an attack. That can actually I have double gal blast, but that, that missed attack could be big here. Let's see what they do. Attack. I missed an attack. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Swing in. Yep. Fog is fine. Uh, we'll activate Relic, target you. Let's do that first. Play. Oh, well, okay. Play this first. Opponent. Yes, I would love to. That's the whole point of that card. Play the Razor Tide Bridge. Play the Mer Enforcer. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. We can bring it back. We can bring it back. Um, let's see. Use Arcane Denial's ability. Yes. 
Okay, synthesizer. I, I, I essentially, this game is just about like how many galvanic blasts can I can I draw? That's that's really what this is about right now. Attack. Entangle me. That's fine. Sure. Discard. At some point, you do have to draw cards, right? Like, that's that's the idea. At some point, you're going to have to draw cards. You may have to tap out for that. This deck can stumble. Turbo Fog can stumble, and it can stumble hard. Uh, let's see if they have some type of counterspell for this. They don't. Oh, yeah. For free. Oh, yeah. Play this. Exile something. Yep. Pretty much on their end turn, I'm gonna pop one of these relics and force them to have another uh, another fog. I have to pop one of these relics. Yep. Force you to have a fog. Yep. GGs. I'm, uh, yo, you just gotta have the patience, baby. Aggressive enough. Turbo fog no more when you have the interaction. Ooh, that was a tough one, but we got there.